Welcome back everybody and welcome to Retro Revival. This is a new series of videos I want to try where we revisit some older computer games and try to get them running on modern hardware without compromises. We're going to try to get these games to run at native widescreen without stretching the image, while also making sure it performs correctly without any crashing or complicated launching procedures, and get it functioning with peripheral devices like controllers for games that play better on controllers. Also, please note that this video will strictly be focusing on how to fix games available through Steam, and I will not be demonstrating any illegal ways of obtaining these games. To kick off the series, I'm going to go way back to one of the oldest games in my library with Wolfenstein 3D. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below or give suggestions if you know of ways to make it even better. Step 1. Install Wolfenstein 3D. First things first, you're going to need a copy of Wolfenstein on Steam. It's $5 on Steam right now, but I'd wait till there's a summer or winter sale to pick it up because you can likely get the Wolfpack for maybe 3 bucks and get 3 games for the price of 1. Once you've added it to your library, go ahead and install it and keep note of where you installed it because you're going to need to access this folder later. Step 2. Download EC Wolf Source Port. EC Wolf is an advanced source port for Wolfenstein 3D, Spear of Destiny, and Super 3D Noah's Ark. It allows modders to bypass the need for replacing entire sets of data in the game's source code, and because of that, makes it much easier to make simple changes to make the game run on more modern systems. It allows for better control binding, widescreen resolution support, and unlimited save slots. Step 3. Delete docsbox.exe Go to your main directory for Wolfenstein 3D that you just installed and locate the file docsbox.exe. Delete this file. Step 4. Transfer EC Wolf to Wolfenstein directory. Transfer the content of the EC Wolf zip file into the Wolfenstein 3D base folder. Step 5. Rename EC Wolf DOSBox. Locate the exe titled EC Wolf and rename it to DOSBox. Make sure you just call it DOSBox and not DOSBox.exe or else it will not work. And alright, so now we're ready to play. Go ahead and launch Wolfenstein 3D. You can open Steam and press play on Wolfenstein 3D and it should work fine. You should be greeted with a small window similar to an emulator. Once the game boots up, you'll notice it'll stay in windowed mode, which is fine. Go to settings and change the game from windowed to full screen. Now adjust the resolution to your own native resolution. Go to controls and change the movement keys for forward, backward, and strafing to the typical WASD keys you're likely accustomed to. You may also want to disable the Y axis input for mouse. Otherwise, you'll find that pushing your mouse forward or back will cause your character to move forward or back. If you notice the HUD is not visible or the game screen is too small, go to your display settings and adjust the screen size setting. I found that dropping it one notch from the maximum value was the best option as it maximized my game screen while also making the HUD perfectly visible. And that's all there is to it. Thankfully, some dedicated fans made this game pretty easy to play on modern systems, and EC Wolf especially made it easy. I hope this video was helpful, and let me know in the comments below what game you want to see next, and I will see you all next time.